Hey you kids and welcome back to the news that you didn't know you needed to know. Most of those plebeian news channels have three letter acronyms, but in a world where bigger is better and I mean, <laughs> I don't mean to brag about the size of acronyms, but we are definitely bigger. Which if my logic checks out, makes us at least three times better at reporting the news than they are. In fact, let's waste no time and check in with our professional counterparts over in Florida. With Hurricane Ian's absolute path of devastation laying waste to most of Florida, our reporter colleagues had to hit the ground coming. I mean, I mean running. Look, it's no surprise that broadcast equipment such as microphones are in fact allergic to water. But don't fret, our good friend Kyla Gala from NBC has the perfect solution to the conditions. A lot of people are asking, what is on my mind? It is what you think it is. It's a condom. It helps protect the gear. We can't get these mics wet. There's a lot of wind, there's a lot of rain. So we gotta do what we gotta do. And that is put a condom on the microphone. Honestly, good on you, Kyla, for practicing safe reporting out there in the field. Your microphones will forever be protected from water and for bonus points, well lubricated for future use. But I must admit it is a stroke of pure genius. Remember kids, don't be silly. Wrap your willy and I guess your microphones when the conditions are wet. I'm sure this tip will help out many a TikTok influencer interviewing people on the streets randomly. Changing pace from natural disasters to probable judicial disasters, rapper 50 Cent has struck up a very interesting little lawsuit against a medical professional. Angela Kogan of Perfection Plastic Surgery has found herself in hot water after allegedly implying that the rapper visited her clinic to receive a penile enlargement surgery. Angela posted this picture to her Instagram in which she is inside her clinic, in front of a banner, and in professional attire. 50 claims that he took the photo with her under the impression that the woman was simply a fan of his. As to why he was inside the clinic, well, one can only guess, really. The lawsuit claims is, let me just check my notes, uh, claiming that it exposes him to public ridicule, damaging his personal and professional reputation, and last but not least, violating his right to control his name and image. Now, uh, we can only assume that this is in fact a defamation case, uh, as we know that rappers packing a serious amount of heat is in fact important to brand image. Good morning, Your Honor. Um, the defendant has implied that the plaintiff has a small penis, uh, which we both strongly deny, by the way. Wait, what do you, what do you, what do you mean you both deny? Can you, can you like elaborate on that? Like how, how big is, how big is it? J just for the record, just. It is not known how much Fiddy is in fact suing for in damages, but one can only assume that it is in fact at least six inch. I mean, I mean, big figures. Sticking to the trend of penises enlarging for some reason, whether it be via plastic procedure, or in this case, natural procedure. I'm sure you've heard of many a political sex scandal, but have you ever heard of a tax paid and legal sex scandal? Yep, well, let me tell you, a Manhattan congressional candidate has released a sex tape in order to highlight the sex positive nature of his platform. Mike Itkus, who is apparently destined to lose this race, I wonder why, has released the 13 minute long mammoth performance in what has only been described by tabloids as a grunt for attention. That wording is going to give me nightmares, thank you. You're uh, really giving a new meaning to stimulus packages there, Mike. In case you are going to get fucked over by a politician, in this case, you can actually see exactly how it will happen. Well, I guess we gotta do some research on that one. <laughs> Old Mikey, whose humble goal is to simply legalize sex work, went on to say, if I would just talk about it, it wouldn't demonstrate my commitment to the issue. Which honestly is a uh, pretty respectable position on the mission. He really went balls deep on that one, didn't he? Hilariously enough, his Republican opponent simply said, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. When interviewed, the man who just got done laying pipe on video went on to say, I'm kind of a nerd who doesn't really like to be the center of attention if I can avoid it. Look, politics probably isn't your game then, Mike, but if you do in fact win, you will enable a smooth transition into the newly legalized sex work industry. Good luck, Mike. In somewhat alarming news, it seems that astronauts aboard the International Space Station are kind of getting desperate to return to Earth, with one alleged Russian astronaut seeking out the help of a 65-year-old Japanese woman to get the job done. I swear at this point, it's, it's like scammers are not even trying anymore. The man who claimed to be essentially stuck in space convinced the unnamed 65-year-old woman 
to transfer him $30,000 before she became suspicious and finally went to the authorities. The $30,000 was apparently for getting a rocket to get him back to Earth and for the landing fees in Japan. The totally real out of space Casanova added some random photos of space and astronauts to add some seems legit flavor to his profile before tracking down his victim on Instagram. He then proceeded to have long romantic conversations and tell the victim that he intends to marry her upon his return to the planet. Look, genuinely, it's possible that a lot of things might kind of be lost in translation here. Hello baby, I am stuck in the great cosmos but nothing is as beautiful as your eyes. Oh, Ivan, you're so romantic. I am stuck orbiting the planet. Please help me buy a NASA rocket back home. Oh, he wants me to pay for his flight to Japan. Holy shit, she actually thinks I am stuck in space WTF lol. Oh Ivan, soon there won't be any space between us. In all seriousness, this is kind of a sad reminder that elderly often fall victim to these scams. Uh, specifically ones that prey on their loneliness or general lack of tech savvy. So seriously, please do what you can to confirm that your elderly loved ones are in fact not in any form of communication, specifically with astronauts needing help to return to the planet. And now we're moving on to the rapid news that you didn't know that you needed to know. This one's for all the BTS fans out there and also probably the BTS haters. It turns out that mandatory military service is in fact mandatory with members of the group having to serve in the South Korean military service in 2025. Now, I would write jokes about this one, but I value my life. I would prefer not to be lynched mobbed by the first group of rabid BTS fans that I encounter. Thank you. Over to Texas, where a 13-year-old boy named Jonathan was trying to annoy his mother by chewing on a squeaker from a dog toy before accidentally swallowing it and it becoming lodged in his throat, which quickly turned him into a human squeaky toy and viral TikTok. <laughs> The kid was clearly terrified of having something lodged in his esophagus. But don't fret, the mother got a banging TikTok and boy did it circle the internet. Honey, honey, please, I know that this could move at any second and cut off your air supply, but can you do the laugh for us? I need it for the TikTok. <laughs> that one's gonna do numbers. That one's gonna do numbers. The uh, hospital staff also allegedly had quite a good laugh at it with doctors and nurses continually visiting the boy's room and asking him to make the sound. Jonathan later noted that the event was quite funny, however he was definitely worried that he could choke to death at any second, essentially. In AI news, a robot has broken the speed record for how many clothes it can fold. Which uh, I thought was going to be really cool and impressive until I kind of looked into it further and discovered that it was actually quite slow. With the robot being touted as being able to fold uh, clothes in under two minutes. Which I suppose is quite a big step up from the previous record which was 3 to 6 fph or folds per hour for the uh, uninformed. With the new robot cranking out anywhere between 30 to 40 fph. That is, that is quite a big improvement, which definitely makes it a bit more impressive, I think. What do you think? Back to the humans and deputies in Longmeadow, Hamden County, Massachusetts, were met with a vicious onslaught of bees. The officers were simply trying to enact upon a court-ordered eviction notice when the chaotic scene unfurled. 55-year-old Rory Susan Wood took the nearby corner Tokyo drift style before pulling up in the front driveway with three towering hives of bees. If I was one of the deputies at this point, I already would have been hauling ass. In her protest, she proceeded to to exit the vehicle and shake up one of the hives. One of the officers immediately noticed her actions but were far too late to stop her master plan as she tipped the towering hive of bees and the onslaught began. At this point I can only imagine all of the officers were running around screaming whilst being bit by thousands of bees. Woods wasn't quite done there yet however, she kept her composure amidst the commotion and suited up in her beekeeper outfit, becoming the superhero that we didn't know we needed. She then made her move to unleash a second towering hive of bees upon the officers, but was quickly apprehended. After being arrested, the deputy then proceeded to inform her that a lot of his officers were in fact allergic to bees. Mrs. Wood's response was simply, Oh, you're allergic? Good. I don't know about you, but that is cold as fuck. She was, however, released without bail. And I'm not a betting man, but I think there is a possibility that the local PD might in fact be uh, surrounded by beehives come morning. So uh, good luck officers, uh, you 
are going to need it. That's a wrap for this episode's news. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Trav, signing out. <laughs> that was a very clean exit. You will appreciate that. <laughs>